In this video, we're going to discuss about the shortened truth table technique for tautological equivalence. So dito, gagamit naman tayo ng shortened truth table technique or STTT para i-prove na yung given propositional form ay tautological equivalence. So bago yon, i-recall natin yung truth table ng biconditional. So dito, kailan nagwa-1 yung biconditional? So nagwa-1 siya kapag yung P tsaka yung Q first and second proposition ay 1 and then kapag yung first and second proposition ay 0. So dapat magkamukha, di ba? Ibig sabihin, meron na kagad tayong dalawang case. So case 1, i-assume natin na yung first proposition ay 1 tapos patunayan natin na yung second proposition ay 1 din para masabi natin na tautological equivalence. So, sa case 2, i-assume naman natin na 0 yung first proposition, i-prove natin na 0 yung second proposition para mapatunayan natin na tautological equivalence. So, dapat ma-prove natin pareho yung dalawang cases agad. So, kung sa naunang video, yung shortened truth table technique for tautological implication ay isa lang, so dito meron kagad dalawang cases. Okay, so punta tayo sa example. Okay, so let's have number 1. Quantity T or S implies not F, quantity implies not S, quantity or the quantity F and T, quantity if and only if, the quantity F or not S, quantity or the quantity F and 2, quantity. <laughs> okay, so dito, may case 1 kagad tayo. So for case 1, i-assume natin na yung first proposition which is ito so be careful sa paggamit ng grouping symbol dapat tama yung pagkakalagay natin ng grouping symbol balance sa right and left side or F and T okay so ang technique dyan nababawasan ng isa grouping symbol yung pinakalabas logically equivalent to 1 then i-prove natin na ito ay 1 so we have to show that f or not s or f and t is logically equivalent to 1. Okay, o nabawasan na isang grouping symbol. Okay, now, so since or to, so hindi tayo sigurado kung pareho ba silang 1 o kung 1, 0 ba yan o 0, 1 ba yan. So hindi tayo sure doon. Kaya magkakaroon ulit tayo ng subcase. Okay, kung meron ng case 1, subcase na. So, subcase 1. Okay, so mahirap to, no? Since disjunction naman to, pwede nating eto yung i-assume natin. So, sa implication kasi ang ina-assume natin yung sa premise, no? So, dito, since disjunction naman yan, eto na lang, second disjunction, para madali lang. I-let natin na yung F and T is 1. Okay? So, kung ang F and T ay 1, tapos na kagad, no? Kasi, 1 na to, no? At this junction. So, sigurado tayo na yung F or not S or F and T is logically equivalent to 1. So, tapos kagad, no? So, punta kagad tayo sa subcase 2. Ilat naman natin na yung F and T is logically equivalent to 0. Kung 0 siya, so hindi tayo sigurado kung paano siya nag-0. Kung pareho bang 0 to, o kung ito lang yung 0, o ito lang yung 0. So magkakaroon ng another subcase. So tawagin na lang natin siyang sub-subcase. Okay? Kumbaga subcase siya ng subcase. O subcase, sub-subcase 1. Now, ilet natin na yung F ay logically equivalent to 1. So, kung yung F ay logically equivalent to 1, then sigurado tayo na yung F or not S is logically equivalent to 1. So, hindi natin kailangan sabihin na yung T ay 0 dito. Although, totoo naman, magzi 0 yung T dito kasi nilet natin na yung F and T ay 0. Pero, hindi na kailangan yun. Okay? Bakit hindi na kailangan? Kasi, kapag kinuha natin tong F or not S, 1 na siya. At kung 1 tong F or not S, ibig sabihin yung F or not S, quantity, or F and T, is 1 na. 
since disjunction siya. So, nabawasan ng ano, kalat. So, kasi kapag nilagay natin yung t equal, is logically equivalent to 0, ano naman, no? So, wala naman siyang kinalaman sa proof natin. Okay? So, next. Okay tayo sa sub-sub-case 1. Let's have sub-sub-case 2. Okay, so tuloy natin dito para maayos. Sub-sub-case 2. So, ilet naman natin na 0 itong f. Okay? Kung 0 yung f, then yung not f. So, discard yan, no? Kung paano natin palalabasin. So, yung not f ay logically equivalent to 1. At kung logically equivalent yung not f, so, dito sa pinaka-assumption natin, since implication to, yung conclusion yung not f, so, itong implication na to ay 1 na. So, yung t or s implies not f is 1. Then, kung ito ay 1, since yung f and t ay 0, okay, since 0 tong f and t, since yung f and t is 0, okay, dito ah, since 0 to, so ibig sabihin, ito 1 na. Okay? So, nakukuha ba? Kasi nga, yung f natin ay 0, so, conjunction niya, 0 na. At kung 0 to, since 1 yung ating assumption, so, 1 dapat to. Okay? So, yung uh, t or s implies not f implies not s is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? At kung 1 to, tapos yung premise natin ay 1, then, dapat 1 tong not s. Okay? So, dapat yung not s ay 1 din. Okay? So, kung yung not s ay 1, then yung f or not s, 1 din. Okay? Kasi isa lang naman sa kanila, nag 1, 1 na siya. At kung 1 to, therefore, yung f or not s, or f and t, is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, okay tayo sa sub-sub-case 2. Okay? So, take note, nandito pa lang tayo sa sub-case. Uh, nandito pa lang tayo sa case 1. So, meron pa tayong case 2. So, punta tayo sa case 2. Okay? So, for case 2 naman, i-assume naman natin na yung first proposition implies not f implies not s or f and t is logically equivalent to 0 tapos i-show naman natin na yung f or not s or f and t is logically equivalent to 0 okay so dito Kung ito ay 0, yung or, then ibig sabihin, parehong 0 to. Okay? Kasi disjunction yan. So, therefore, yung uh, ito, T or S implies not F, quantity implies not S is logically equivalent to 0. So, take note ah, sa grouping symbol, dapat maayos yung paggamit ng grouping symbol. Tapos, etong F and T is 0 then. Okay? Now, kung ito ay 0, then, ito yung 1, ito yung 0. Premise ay 1, conclusion ay 0. So, yung T or S implies not F is 1, tapos yung not S, 0. Okay? Kung 0 yung not S, then yung S natin ay 1. At kung yung S natin ay 1, then yung T or S natin will be 1. Okay? Then kung 1 yung T or S natin, since ito ay logically equivalent to 1, then yung not F natin is 1. Okay? Kasi hindi pwedeng mag 0 to, magiging 1 implies 0 magkakamali. 
So, kung not fi1, yung fi0. Then, yung fnt, 0. Then, dito, mapuprove natin na yung f or not s or fnt will be logically equivalent to 0. Okay? So, ayos yung case 2 natin. So, na-prove natin na ito, second proposition, ay logically equivalent to 0. So, without subcase, no? So, since okay tayo sa case 1 and case 2, so, therefore, For number 2, let's have not the quantity W or T implies B quantity if and only if the quantity not of not T implies B quantity implies W. Okay, so, i-assume natin yung first proposition. So, assume first proposition not quantity W or T quantity implies B tapos show, by the way, this is case 1. So, i-assume natin na ito ay logically equivalent to 1. Then, we have to show that not quantity not T implies B quantity implies W is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, since implication ulit to, so, wala ulit tayong kasiguraduan. So, magkakaroon ulit ng another case under case 1. So, we have subcase 1. So, for subcase 1, ilet natin na yung premise not quantity W or T ay logically equivalent to 1. Then, kung ito ay 1, then yung B, sigurado tayo na yung B ay logically equivalent to 1. So, then, yung not T implies B is logically equivalent to 1. Kasi yung conclusion natin ay 1. At kung ito ay 1, then yung not quantity not T implies not B is 0. Okay, ay, but may not B. B lang is 0. Then, yung implication niya, which is not quantity not T implies B implies W is logically equivalent to 1. Without knowing W, since yung premise ay 0, automatic sure tayo na yung implication na to ay 1. Okay? And yun yung pinapatunayan natin. So, uh, okay tayo sa subcase 1. So, punta tayo sa subcase 2. So, for subcase 2, ilet naman natin na yung not quantity W or T ay 0. So, kung 0 to, then yung W or T ay 1. Okay? So, wala tayong idea kung ano yung W o kung ano yung T, kung paano ito naging 1. Wala rin naman tayong idea kung ano yung B. So, magkakaroon tayo ng sub-sub-case. Okay? So, case under sub-case 2. So, tawagin natin yung sub-sub-case 1. So, ilet natin na yung W ay 1. So, kung yung W ay 1, tapos na kagad, yung not, not T implies B, implies W. Since yung conclusion ay 1, kahit hindi natin to alam, this is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, for sub-sub-case, 2. Ilet na lang natin na yung W ay logically equivalent to 0. So, kung 0 yung W, ibig sabihin yung T ay 1. Okay? At kung yung T ay 1, then yung not T ay 0. At kung 0 siya, then yung not T implies B ay 1. Then yung not, not T implies B ay 0. And then yung not, not T implies B, quantity implies W is 1. Okay? So, okay tayo sa subcase 2. Okay tayo sa subcase 1 ng case 1. So, proceed tayo sa case number 2. So, for case number 2, i-assume naman natin na itong not quantity W or T implies B ay 0. Tapos, we have to show that not, not T implies B, quantity implies W is 0. Okay? Now, 
kung zero to, ibig sabihin yung premise, yung not quantity W or P ay 1, tapos yung conclusion ay 0. Okay? Now, kung ito ay 1, then yung W or T ay 0. Yung negation niya, syempre, kapag inalis mo yung negation. Then, kung 0 to, eh di parehong 0 to. Yung W ay 0, yung T ay 0. At kung yung T ay 0, then yung not T ay 1. At kung 1 ang not T, then yung not T implies B will be 0. Kasi 1 implies 0 will be 0. And kung 0 siya, then yung not, not T implies B implies, ay, not not T implies B will be logically equivalent to 1. Okay? Now, kung 1 to, tapos yung W natin ay 0, so magiging ano siya, 1 implies 0. So, yung not, not T implies B, quantity implies W will be 0. Which is, yun yung gusto natin patunayan. So, in any case, nakalimutan ko pala lagyan ng case 2. So, for case 1 and case 2, okay siya. So, therefore,